Italy has begun to stir again, with millions allowed to return to work for the first time since early March. The easing of the world's longest COVID-19 lockdown also saw parks reopen and families reunite. But with more than 29,000 people killed by the virus, life in Italy is still far from what it was. Hermione Kitson is in Rome. Italy's historic centre is on the path to recovery. I've been really excited about going out today and it seems like there's life in Rome again. Stephanie Burford is a 35-year-old nurse from Adelaide studying a master's in Rome. She didn't rush home for the lockdown because she didn't expect the situation to become so devastating. It's very difficult for the businesses, also for all the people that have lost their lives, for the doctors and nurses. But with the death toll and infection rate now declining, the country has moved to phase two. Residents can finally venture outside. Going out is incredible. It really is a great feeling. For now it's precious even if you can get out and go for a bike ride. Big sectors of the economy like construction and manufacturing will restart, but most shops won't reopen until late May and hairdressers and restaurants will have to wait until June. At this location in the centre of Rome, uh, we have to spend a lot of money for the rent and in this moment without uh, tourists, without the people that come from, from another country, we have to close. Travel is still only allowed within Italy's regions and international visitors may not return until next year. The government says the crisis isn't over yet and that stage two is about learning to live with the virus. So restrictions such as masks and social distancing will continue to be enforced. But for now, at least grandparents can once again hug their grandchildren. I can't even speak for how excited I am, says this grandfather. A glimmer of light after two very dark months. Hermione Kitson for 10 News First, Rome.